Hello, how's it going? This is the Fast Development Blender tutorial. And I'll be speaking about 5 things to faster your performance in Blender. Speed performance, of course. Okay, th this is the things to cover in this tutorial. The first one is, what is the meaning of fast development in 3D design? The second one is, does it mean that as faster you work, as better you are? The third one is, how do I speed up my speed? The fourth one is, where do I start? And the fifth one is, how do I remember? Okay, now let's get started. The first one. What is the meaning of fast development in 3D design? So I created this formula. Uh, fast development, more progress in less time. And that was simple. Okay, the second one is, does it mean that as faster you are, as better you are? No, the speed is important, but it's not the main factor. Why not? It's because real professionals do their job fast, because they that's what they do. But if you can do something really good, but it takes time, I can't say you're bad at it. Speed will come with experience. The more you use new shortcuts, the more you remember. The thing is that usually everybody wants something perfect fast. Nobody wants to wait for years until they get a result. The third one. How do I speed up my speed? If speed turns your quality down, don't try to work very fast. Better choose quality. Blender has lots of shortcuts for making your work get to its final point really fast. Learning much of them can really improve your speed. You have to use as many shortcuts as you can learn if you want to reach the balanced development. Learning the shortcuts may be hard, but as long as you work with Blender really often, you can try remembering only one shortcut every time and you will collect lots of shortcuts in your head in no time. You'll be pressing them without even thinking of what to press because that's, that's how your brain will start to work. You think of some function and your brain automatically presses it. Sounds fast, doesn't it? But it requires your patience for learning them and using them really often. Okay, now the big one. Where do I start? Okay, the first one I thought about is Node Editor. As I mentioned before, Blender has a shortcut for almost anything. Trying to remember all of them is near impossible, so where do you even start learning any of those? I'm sure if you're familiar with Blender, you know what shortcuts G, R, S does in edit mode. But edit mode is not the only Blender's part. If you use cycles, when you're creating a material, you add shader, you add shader mix node and really often and when you're making a more advanced material, you know, or like not simple glossy or diffuse mode, if you don't use Blender for at least two years, I bet that you don't know what's the shortcut for that. As you all know, for the uh, new node, it's Shift A. But then, if you want to add shader mix one, you select it with mouse rather than just pressing two keyboard keys, which will put the adding time more than twice. You might be wondering, oh, it's only a few seconds to do that. But when you keep working on materials for a few hours, if you combine that, it can come next minute. You might ask, how do I know what's the shortcut for every mode? It's really simple. Most of the words in the menu have a line under one of their letters. That's the letter you want to press when adding that node. For example, it's Shift A, H, M for Shader Mix node. Simple, isn't it? Just don't use mouse while adding and you'll come quicker while making some notes for compositing materials or just others, you know. No, we don't stop next to you know the editor only. Edit mode. When adding some meshes in edit mode, there are many things you repeat a lot. Let's take an example. So you sometimes select edges, sometimes spaces or vertices. You do that a lot. 
But how do you change the selection mode? There are two ways, the slow one and the fast one. As many people do, they go to the bottom of the 3D view space and just press the different icon. But when you're repeating that for a few hours, you waste much time only moving your mouse pointlessly. I don't think that it will be hard for you to remember a combination of two keys for, for a thing that is used every time you select. It's as simple as control tab and you don't need to move your mouse through the whole screen, the menu comes next to you itself. Was that hard? There are tons of these simple combinations which can easily get stuck to your head and make a project go faster. Almost all keyboard does something, and then and when then <laughs> it changes the function when you add shift, control, or alt. It sounds hard and demotivating, but it becomes really simple when you learn this. Okay, the third one, sculpt mode. Sculpt mode is no exception. As all others, it does have shortcuts too, but it's hard to find people who use them because there is a big selection menu which everybody uses. I think that after edit mode, shortcuts are the most important thing when in sculpt mode. Why sculpt mode? Because here you experiment the most. You always need to add some detail and smooth it, pinch it and push it away or whatever, you know. But this menu is that place where you waste the most of your time selecting different tools. You need to learn almost nothing because shortcuts here are the simplest. For example, it's D for draw brush, S for smooth brush, C for clay brush, and P for pinch brush, and others. I have to mention that there is a shortcut for changing the size and the strength in case that you don't know it. It's simply F for size and Shift F for strength. Okay, D. The ones before were the mostly used modes in Blender. I was speaking about those the most because others are not so often used, so they don't waste so much of your time. If there is a case as you use some of the side modes often, I think that you should check for shortcuts there too. For example, in Blender Game Engine Logic Editor, Shift A works too. The fifth one. How do I remember? Every time you have to change something in settings, try to use shortcuts, at almost every case. In menus, shortcuts are usually written. If not, try finding them yourself, like just testing the keys or surfing the menus. If you did forget a, s a function, you can find it back by pressing spacebar and searching for it. Blender is one of the best 3D design apps for speed, because speed here depends on your level and level depends on the time you're spending learning. This tutorial is by me. For people who can't read my name, my name is Marius Savages. I started using Blender 10 months ago from the date of this tutorial post. Thanks for watching! You kiss like somebody